So this will be my last video from Computex and also a pretty quick one from FSP. First of all, I inspected some PSUs. So for me and this Computex, this is kind of the hidden champion. Like, I'm not even sure, but yeah, we will see in a second. So overall, I mean, at a lot of those booths, you have such showcase PCs, like modding PCs. Usually the way it works, it's the same like as at a G-Skill booth. Those vendors reach out to some like good and famous modders and say like, hey, we need a nice showcase build for our exhibition. Can you build something for us? And for example, this one is like a custom water cooling one that has, as you can see, some like, I don't know, like a moisture fog generator and two 360 radiators in the back. I just wanted to cover the back first because the front with the cooler, that's actually the exciting part. And that is the system from the front. I'm just going over a few details first. I mean, overall, it's a complete own design. It's like not a, a case mod. It's like something completely from scratch. So on the left side, we have a small display on here. It shows some animation, some anime stuff. On the bottom, we have an FSP Hydro TI PSU 1000 watt. So that should be the same, if I see correctly, the, um, the 1000 watt titanium PSU. So that's already exciting. but. From my perspective, what's the most exciting is this CPU cooling block. Because if you try to pay attention, you will notice that you cannot see any kind of tubing. And it took me a while to figure out how this block actually works. So first of all, I was like, OK, so how does the water flow through there? Like, where does it come from? And if you try to look here, or like here, or here, there's like nothing, no connection, nothing. By the way, I just also noticed that uh, only one memory dim is running. Not sure why that's the case, but we can completely neglect that. So then when I paid more attention, I first of all noticed that the CPU block is held down on the screws that are usually made to mount the block down. Well, not the block down, but the ILM down. So four screws that usually hold down the ILM are used to secure the block. And then if you pay attention to where you would usually mount a cooler on the side, on the four mounting holes, there are the water channels. So there has to be some kind of backplate behind it that distributes the water through the mounting holes of the motherboard. And I'm not sure how it's sealed off, if he was using some like tubes or if there's actually water in contact with the PCB, that would be questionable, could be dangerous. But theoretically, I mean, the four millimeter holes, you could run some like tiny tubes to it and that's what you have here, like on the top left and the bottom left corner, that's where the water comes from. So it comes from here, goes to the center, into the like inlet part, to the jet plate, and then exits on the right, distributes again, and goes through those four holes. And that's, that's really something different and something I've never seen before. I guess that's who made it. I don't know him, but I think if he's also the guy, because it's also Modding Cafe, if he made the cooler, he really de deserves some credit for that ingenuity and like the engineering work behind that. I'm not sure if it's something you would use on a daily basis, especially because, I don't know, the maybe restrictions with the backplate or something in the back. But overall, that was pretty amazing. And yeah, my hidden champion from Computex 2023. So that was probably a quite quick video, but I thought it was still worth to shoot this. So thanks for tuning in. See you next time. Bye bye.